place. So I finally found a video editor program for me that I think works pretty damn well for me personally. So this is just my, mainly a test video for that. Um, and I thought what better way to test it out than to do a dramatic smoky look with my new MAC quad palette that is called Melt My Heart that my mom actually got me as a present the other day. So it is this gorgeous baby. So I went on YouTube and I think I saw one tutorial on it. Um, and I don't think there were like any reviews really on it. Um, so I decided to be the first or second, maybe. Um, I actually didn't put on any mascara on this eye, so I'm gonna do that really quick. And if you would like to see how this dramatic I don't know what you'd call it. Dramatic smoky eye that I did with my new MAC Melt My Heart quad palette, then stay tuned. Just a reminder, you cannot find this quad palette on the official MAC website because it was part of a special edition collection, the Beautiful Eyes, I believe. The beautiful eye collection um another reminder obviously i am not a beauty guru or a beauty expert or a makeup expert of any kind um i just makeup is a passion of mine and i personally am still learning so um yeah so you know what works for me may not work for you but if you guys find this you know helpful then i feel like i've done my job so without further ado let's get started okay just to save some time i primed my eyelids with my wet n wild eyelid primer and i am taking my elf shadow brush and i am taking the white out of this palette and i am putting it all over my lid as i said putting on nyx's milk or any white jumbo pencil would probably have made this much more vibrant now i'm taking my Sh shaney brush a uh, flat shadow brush and i am taking the darker gray color in here and i am patting it all over to the middle almost and a little bit just in that area i don't know the professional words for that stuff now i'm taking my defining eye brush from elf and i am taking the black in this palette and i am putting it all on the outer lid and in the crease and you can put it as far out as you want it and as much black as you want it. Now I'm taking my Elf's blending brush and starting in the middle I'm just going to keep blending, blending, and blending but I'm not going to go to the inner corners of my lid because you're going to want that white to pop. Sorry, I'm still sick, guys. You probably can tell by my voice. <laughs> Next, I am taking my Clean Color Retractable Eyeliner Brush in Black. Brush, sorry. My eyeliner retractable eyeliner thing from Clean Color in Black. Um, I was going to use my e.l.f. Um, gel liner, but it was not in the area of me and I'm still hooked up to a medical machine. And I'm just going to make the wing go up a little bit. And now I'm taking my e.l.f. smudge brush and I'm not going to use that on the wing. I'm just going to use it on the liner below. And now I'm taking this really, really old school e.l.f. shadow brush and I'm taking the lighter silver, which is my favorite color in this palette, and I'm highlighting the inner corners of my eyes with it. I think this looks beautiful. And I'm smudging out because I made the first one very thick lines and very dramatic, but you're not going to want to go into the tear duct or the total inner corner of your eye because you're going to want that highlight to be there. Now I'm taking my favorite mascara, the Butterfly Mascara from L'Oreal Paris. Just look at that freaking brush. I just love it so much. It's $7.99 at Walmart and it is so worth it. I just think this wand is so funky. And yeah, that happens. <laughs> And if you want to apply false lashes, you can. As you guys know, I'm not much of a false lash girl, but 
lashes are very important with this look, especially with this kind of look when you're going to want vibrant, vibrancy. It, vibrancy? Is that even a word? I don't know. I'm not a wordsmith. I'm a poet, award-winning poet, multi-time award-winning poet, but I don't know. Anyway, so you're going to want that white to be very dramatic looking and stand out a lot. And this is the completed look. And I'm messing up my eyes <laughs> so much. It's terrible. Oh, yeah, just screw it. Beautiful. So this is the completed look. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was... You know my first time really using this quad palette and I absolutely love 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 this palette you can find it on Amazon um, if you look on eBay I'm sure you're gonna get dupes for it which I am a dupe queen as everybody knows so I have no problem with dupes but to get the real kind um, we purchased my mom purchased it on Amazon I won't say how much she paid for it because I find it very tacky when people say how much they pay for things unless you know that's included in the video but this is again the melt my heart is it gonna focus maybe not but this is the melt my heart quad um thank you guys again so much for watching if you liked this video please give it a big thumbs up let's try to get this to five likes and just a few minutes ago i did my own french manny on my nails so do you guys like this i like it um if you have any questions or comments please leave them below unless they are nasty or rude and you'll be reported as always don't forget to go over here and click on my face to subscribe right now or just press the sub below i always mess up on this part on my outro don't forget to subscribe right now because I always have beauty related giveaways, contests, and raffles all free all of the freaking time. And I'm always taking video requests and I'm an awesome, awesome person. As many of you know, if you're already subscribed to me. So yeah, don't forget to follow me on all my social medias. And let me know if you like this video program or if this was a little bit better than what I've been using. Um, I'm really hoping it is. And let me know if this was helpful and if you guys like this look. I personally really do. Um, it's very similar to what I used to do when I was just doing makeup and I just started doing makeup and this was like my go-to look. Um, I definitely think that putting um, the NYX Milk Jumbo Pencil underneath would definitely put much more oomph in this look. But I really, really, really like this. So um, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Um, and until next time, peace, love, and stay wicked. Forgot to mention I also bought a new mini tripod. So the uh, steadiness of this video and everything that's going on is probably much better as well. So thank you, Lord, for that. So anyway, stay wicked.